Spoilers and fandom is like a book club for geeky stuff. Join us as we delve into the depths of our backlogs and sift through the games, comics, shows, movies, and books that we haven't checked out yet. Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Spoilers and Fandom podcast. And on today's episode, we are discussing Hal's Moving Castle without spoilers. Yes. I am Hal's Knight. I'm Hillary. And uh, yeah, let's, again, no spoilers. This is a Studio Ghibli movie. Um, it's, I mean, it's a movie, it's not very long. Uh, but we'll try here without any spoilers. Yeah. So I picked this mm. movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was me. But no, you picked Cthulhu. Yes. And uh, I picked this mm -hmm. because I haven't watched a single Studio Ghibli movie. And people say a lot of good stuff about it. Mm -hmm. So I thought, nah, yeah, this one. Okay. And uh, to be clear, <laughs> and uh, to, to warn you, <laughs> I watched the English dub. And uh, Hillary watched the sub. And uh, we're going to talk about that, I guess, right off the bat? Or should we address that later? No, we, we, I, think, I think it's better if we just tell everyone. Skip the skip the dub. Yeah, don't watch the dub. Yeah. Um. So it, it has a good cast. It has a really good cast. Well, but <laughs> but yeah, a good the, cast does not make the script is yeah. is really really whack, and it comes off as very random, and it's for you to build the story in your head. Yeah. With these random things that are going on, and it really. Like, you can put the story together. It's just, it's like a, it feels like a very random script mm. for the dub, yeah. specifically. If you're watching the sub, it's a lot more coherent. Like, the story does have random elements to it, but it's more coherent with what's happening and going on on screen. Yeah. Um, Christian Bale is the voice, is of... The voice of Howl. Yes. And uh, I didn't realize it was Christian Bale. I just said that this guy does not look like the character at all. Yeah. It doesn't fact, sound... The sound is completely, completely different. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's not a good choice. I'd say with the English dub mm -hmm. itself, uh, the only good choices are for uh, Old Lady Sophie, mm -hmm. um, the, the Witch, Witch of the Waste, Wastes, mm -hmm. and uh, the Sorceress... Yeah, the yeah, sorceress. Yeah, yeah, that that yeah. that was it. Everyone else was a little weird with their choices, and the script is horrible. <laughs> the script really is horrible. Like I'm, I don't just mean it's incoherent. They've they changed. They've stuff. straight up changed what what's actually going on in the story and what people are saying. Even like with nouns. Yeah. A plane is not the same thing as a soldier. Mm -hmm. And there there are those differences, and even like tonal differences. But you'd wonder, are, like this was a relatively. It's a recent movie because it came out in 2004. So I'm wondering why does it have such a weird translation issue? I think they blew their budget on Christian Bale. What? That's sick. Man. Like, there are so many really good dubs. I'm a dub guy, for, for those of you who know me. You know <laughs> that I'm, like, into dubs. Yeah. I don't do subs. So I'd be the first person to defend dubs, but this is a terrible dub. Yeah, this one is very uh, strange. And they could have they could have gone with like seasoned styles of like recording animated movies. No, they could have just gone with a better voice actor specifically for Hal. Like yeah. I think that was the major. But it issue really for does that. feel like um, it does feel like one of those situations where there was no context. They they did the lines, mm -hmm. but there was no context to. Uh, yeah. There wasn't enough context to what what they're trying to portray. So that's like a weird, uh, it's like a weird thing that would happen with really old school anime, mm -hmm. um, where you're not, where you're just kind of going through the lines as best you can, mm -hmm. but you don't really know what's, what situation you're playing out. Okay. So I, I get that kind mm -hmm. of sense, especially with like, like the scripts are so, the thing is the scripts are also so bad. So you have like. In the English dub, mm. someone is acting really whimsical, mm -hmm. and it comes off as completely random. Where in the sub, the translation is very like subtle. Yeah. Like they're just saying, "Oh, okay then." Okay. But in the dub, they're whimsical for for some reason. So so, 
I, I really don't understand why they did it that way. It seemed like they were trying to be smart about it, but I don't know. I don't know. And also, this was a book. Yes. It was actually so, based on a book. Yeah, and yeah. There, there is information that's there in the dub also that's not there in the sub, mm-hmm. uh, which, is, which is odd. That's super strange. Yeah. I'd have I'll, expected I'll, that both versions to be like copies, at least uh, to be similar. I'll, I'll tell you about it in the spoiler, spoiler section. section. I'll okay. be very specific. Okay. Um, but let's talk about what the story is. Yeah. Um, this story is... So again, we're going to have very, very, like varied opinions on what <laughs> we think the story was. Yeah. Because it was so random. So according to me, mm-hmm. and the people I watched it with, because I didn't watch it alone, <laughs> actually, and none of them, yeah, like, I watched it with my wife and my mother. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we, th- the story is, there's a girl called Sophie, mm-hmm. and uh, one day, a witch curses her, and she goes off on an adventure. To try and make the curse. Nope. What? She, this is this is this is the this is the dub version. Uh huh. She goes off on an adventure. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Wait, they don't explain. No. Wow. She does not. In the dub, at no point does she say uh-huh. that she's going off on it to try and figure out how to break the curse. Uh-huh. She leaves because she does not want to be seen as an old lady. Uh-huh. Well, that that's also that's in the fine. sub. That's that, also in the sub, but fine. but it's mentioned specifically that she's gone yeah. to try and figure out what happened to her. Nah, uh-huh. for 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 the dub, it's just um, she just leaves. Wow. Um, uh-huh. and at no point does she ever, by the way, uh, really express her desire to break the curse. <laughs> <laughs> she she does try talking about it, mm-hmm. like she what like when, oh these are specifics, mm-hmm. but I know well yeah I'll well, I'll get into that in the spoiler section. Okay. But that's the that's, that's the gist the, of the story. That's the gist of the the main yeah. well the 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 main thing. There are other things that happen. There's a whole lot of metaphors here. In mm-hmm. fact, with the dub being as disjointed as it was, I thought this entire thing. Mm-hmm was similar to like a stream of consciousness of just metaphors being thrown at you with like a vague hint of story. Mm-hmm. It was that jarring. But like what what did you think they were trying to communicate? Um like what metaphors were they talking about? That war sucks, really. Mm-hmm. Okay, well yeah. Yeah. I, well, I don't want to get too specific. No, just the at least for the listeners. Yeah. Um this whole story is set in a in a fictional, it's it's set in a fictional kingdom. Yeah, fictional, yeah, fictional yeah. reality, kind of steampunk-ish. Yeah. Uh, Where there's but, magic and technology, but steampunk. Yeah. So the backdrop of this is there's two two kingdoms that go to war. This is now what happens. Yeah. In, uh, I'm not going to. I'm not explaining yeah. all the details, but yeah. I'm just saying that there's a back there's a backdrop of war going on through this. Yeah. That. They make it, yeah. There's a backdrop of, of a war going on in this in the movie, yeah. That happens concurrently with when Sophie is going out on her adventure, and the war directly is it's 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 part of a bigger part of the story, yeah. That's that's as much as I can say without giving up any spoilers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so if you want maybe, maybe better details, you can just look it up, but trying to keep it as. Yeah. As clean as possible, this is it. That's what it is. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, I don't know, did, while you were watching this movie, did you Google anything nope. about it? Nope. Or you just... You just got like, I'm even... Google? Like, when you when you told me Kristen Bale was the voice of Howl, I was completely surprised. Because I never... I didn't even bother trying to like, switch to English. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just watched it as is, and I was like, cool, this is the next movie. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we did not have that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> we had... Varying, varying, yes, this wildly very... varying resp- responses to this movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, anyway, so so that's the the basic thing of the plot. Mm-hmm. Um, the characters are really cool, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have 
the main character who is Sophie. Yeah. Who, because of things that happened to her, flip flop between being young and being uh, like a ninety year old grandma. Uh -huh. um, and I really, really, really like Grandma Sophie. Sophie. Yeah. Uh, I thought she was very cool. Um, and so this is this is one of the things that I liked. Mm -hmm. uh, although it's it's sort of like hinders on on spoiler ter territory. I really wanted to watch something about like a grandma going on a, an adventure. adventure. That yeah. would make such a cool story, uh, yeah. movie or or show or mm -hmm. something. Yeah, that would, that 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 to me sounds really cool mm -hmm. and really fun to watch. Um, so I really liked her character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, so you have other characters. You have um, a scarecrow that doesn't really talk. Uh, I know that sounds weird. It's sort of like a Wizard of Oz sort of scarecrow kind of thing, mm. except it has no legs and hops. Yeah. Like Pogo style. Yeah. Uh, you have a fire that... Uh, well, we'll explain the details about that fire later, mm -hmm. but it's like a fire demon. Mm. Um, and, and you have a castle. Him a New York accent, New Jersey. Wait, what? New York accent. Yeah, something. He he has like. Well, I might be getting the accent wrong. Maybe. But he has a different accent has, from everyone. He has else. one of those distinct American accents, like either New York, New Jersey, Chicago, that that kind of accent. I have to I have to go back and listen to the dub. Uh, that is such a bug out. Yeah, it, it's 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 a weird choice. Mm -hmm. it, it is a weird choice. There's a kid. Mm -hmm. His name I forget for some reason. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there's Hal, who's a wizard. Who is the, who is the wizard hero? Mm. He is the prince charming of the show. Yeah, uh, of the movie rather. And uh, those are the characters. I I really think Grandma Sophie was my favorite. Me too. Oh, and the Witch of the Wastes. Mm. Um. Who who was actually a good choice for for like as I've, as I've said. A good choice for the voice actor who ever played that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a decent character, actually, with her... I guess, like, her, she doesn't get... Her character development, for me, mm -hmm. in this happens, like, suddenly without any reason. Uh, but we'll discuss that in the spoiler section. Mm -hmm. But I think... Like, I liked that character as well, mm -hmm. but I just didn't like the way she was presented. She, she ended up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Even Sophie's character development, like everything in terms of character development, everyone just has these abrupt growths suddenly as if from random mm. with the dub. Yeah. I think with the sub, there's a lot more context. Well, I know with the sub, there's a bit more. Context. A bit more. Just yeah. a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Because there's, um, there's a couple of things that, honestly, that, based on the beginning, because I haven't finished watching, actually, the dub yeah. to the end, so I yeah. can't tell the differences. But from the beginning, when you're first introduced to Sophie and Hal, there's, 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 it's, it's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> I, yeah. It's jarring, let me just say that. I, to say the least, it's jarring. I, I literally was like, this can't be right. Uh, so I, I started watch, watching the English mm -hmm. Uh, dub, English, English dub, dub with, with, English English, with the official English subs. Yeah, because again, with subs you get like variants as mm. well, mm. and uh, those can vary. But I went with the official uh, Blu-ray Studio Ghibli subs, and those just they're so varied yeah. from what they're saying and what's what you're reading. Yeah, is quite different. Even like I said with the nouns and stuff, mm -hmm. and it really does paint a different picture about what these characters are. So. That's why we are going to have very varied opinions with mm -hmm. this. And as someone who has watched the first, I think, half an hour mm -hmm. of the sub version, mm -hmm. go with the subs. Yes. Even I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. Or, or just, you're better off not watching it, yeah. I guess. Please skip the dubs if you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so that's, that's the characters. Yeah. That's the story. Yeah. Art style. I love the art style. Yes. It's By a far, it's a Ghibli thing. They they I don't know how they do it, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful Yeah. Movie. They're really uh Yeah. They're really 
they're very pretty. Uh, like you can get a lot of screenshots from watching this and use them as wallpapers. Yeah, it's, and the it's a detail, very pretty show. and the detail, even in the even down to the like the very little things. Oh, there's some things that they uh, that they don't do details for. It's quite funny. Um, you know, in the opening scene where <laughs> where. I mean, this is the opening. Would it count as a spoiler? No, no, no. It's okay. It's like before the title even comes up. Yeah. You're seeing like Howl's Castle in the background. Mm -hmm. In the foreground, there's like a farm with like some sheep. Yeah. The sheep are literally just... Clouds on the ground. Yeah, they're just clouds on the ground. And in the background, the details are are insane compared to that. So it's it's really it's really quite cool the way yeah. they've done that. Yeah. Um. And everything from like the pavements to dirt on houses, it's it's so. Even the outfits that people are wearing, like look at what the, yeah. the witch of the waste. I haven't seen somebody dressed in an outfit like that drawn that well. Yeah. Sophie's outfits are also pretty much like they're drawn simply, but it's stuff that it's got more. Detail. Yeah, it's like very detailed. You'll detail. see like weird fades yeah. or dirt here and there. And yeah. Uh, not necessarily on her outfit. Yeah, but you notice, like you can tell, things. yeah, you can tell like this growth, like she's been running. You can literally tell that from the art style. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the art style is A1. the strongest yeah. thing about this yeah. This uh, movie. Yeah. Um, I have seen Prettier. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's anime. Mm. There's a movie called Garden of Words. Mm-hmm. Which is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Now, that is the one to be now, for me. You said this was your first um, Ghibli. Miyazaki Ghibli thing. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't recommend this as the first. You wouldn't? I wouldn't recommend this as your first. I feel like Spirited there's... Away has a lot more hype. It does. But for you specifically, mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't have recommended this to start with. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because this is an okay. Okay, this is coming from me knowing you yeah. as a friend. Mm -hmm. um, this is the kind of story that you would like if it was presented to you right, which it wasn't because yes. of the sub, yeah. because of the dub. Yes, um, agreed. Beyond that, I, th I feel like the story that you would gravitate the most towards yeah. is something like Princess Mononoke. So I would I'd, I'd give, 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 I give Ghibli a chance. I don't Watch know. that and then decide whether they're worth watching because... Honestly, Mononoke is amazing. Yeah, but the way, like, I cannot do subs. Like, it's really hard to do subs. Like, mm -hmm. understand. So, the way I will do subs mm -hmm. uh, is I will literally pause at every line, mm -hmm. read the line, mm -hmm. let it play till the next line, pause again, read the line. That's how I watch subs. I can't watch them in in line in you can't like follow and watch the continuous same. succession yeah, yeah. it's it's re like my eyes are horrible mm -hmm. so i i need to read it that way mm -hmm. and so that just kind of takes me out mm -hmm. um which is why i do dubs yeah so i don't know i'll check like, you know what i'll do this for you i have a, i'll actually go and check go check the dub out and then and then yeah. tell me i'll go check the dub whether out it's worth but watching. mononoke is honestly the one that i think you'll enjoy the most okay yeah yeah, because because this this obviously did this, not yeah, this didn't work. Work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this didn't work for you. Yeah, but it was worth watching. Like I actually enjoyed this movie because it's so chill. Yeah, yeah, it's not. We've actually been talking about this even before the podcast. This is something that this is like a a, a slight I don't know sneak peek for those people who are familiar with the podcast. Maybe you're like us, slightly older, and you feel like all the what's the word the there's a lot of there's a lot of stimulation in a lot of the media that's going on right now like if you play a game they expect you to play a game that's like super action packed and all that when movies come out it's always an action packed movie or drama or there's something that's always always active always on there's not much that you can watch and just chill and just enjoy and take it in as it is. So I liked this movie for that. Where if... And I don't know how many people do this. Like I do... Sometimes I watch movies spread out over five days. Like I'll watch 20 minutes now, 20 minutes tomorrow. Oh, I cannot do that. That would... I would lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but now for me, weird stuff like this works. Because yeah. I'm able now to like... Okay, fine, I've watched 20 minutes and I'm like, cool, this is, this is fine. If you're busy... 
it kind of works even though you will lose track of where you were unless you're really good at what you're watching or you jump back every 10 like well, let's say when you start again you jump back five minutes catch up then continue but i liked this movie for how the tone and how chill it was like just they're talking about very important things and like the themes are about war and friendship and and just working past working through things working through your problems yeah and stuff like that resilience and all that and i like stuff like that okay now i'm getting to be a bit more sensitive to it yeah yeah so i liked that yeah even though that even though the the, the dub is really weird yeah like it's really weird like i'm a yeah, i'm a huge is. we're huge um what's his name christian bale fans but he was the wrong choice for Hal. Or, yeah. or the voice that he used was the absolute wrong choice for Hal. Yeah. Like he felt like he should Sounds have been so a scummy, man. He should have been a cool anime character. Like he should have been anything else. Like he could have been in Bleach. Not this. Like I think when he was he told that he's doing an animated Bleach. Japanese thing, he figured, oh cool, so I can do an anime voice. And that's his anime yeah, voice. But I think he see the thing is, I think the normally when you when you do voice acting, you're given like a, a brief of the the character. Mm-hmm. Um, so that you know what kind of voice you should be reading. Mm-hmm. This is with normal voice acting. I don't know what Bale got. Maybe he got but it and he's still... I think he, he got like something like, you are a playboy wizard. Yeah. And he really leaned hard into the playboy sleaze bag. Yeah, because he's wizard. way too cool. Uh, okay, not even cool. Cool is cool is he's cool is the wrong term. Yeah, he's a bit voice, like the Japanese voice is so on point. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. And even something I noticed <laughs> from the first interaction yeah. between him and Sophie, yeah. Japanese oh. in the, the Japanese <laughs> audio. Yeah. Yes, Howl is is he seems trustworthy. Yeah. He seems sketchy, but he he gives you some form of reassurance. Yeah, because he doesn't sound like a bad guy. Yeah, Bale. I wouldn't trust him as an as an yeah, adult not, male. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> you've trust. Gone him. from yeah from guards football. Yeah. I can't be specific, but you've gone from one situation like Frank Panther. Fire! No? <laughs> that guy was not trustworthy at all. Uh, yeah. No, but like you, um, I really like some of the the metaphors that they. I can't be specific, but I really liked some mm-hmm. of the themes in here mm-hmm. and some of the metaphors. Okay. And some of the concepts and ideas. I did like that. Me too. Um, I just... That that dub is just horrible. Yeah. And and for me, I am scoring this on the... On the, the dub. The dub specifically. Yeah. Because you can score on the... Sub. Sub. Yeah. So, varying opinions, which are... In fact, very, that's even good. Because yeah. now guys will have the option of knowing... Yeah. Now they'll have a metric of knowing what to watch, depending on what they want. Yeah. Either way, we tell you... Go with the sub. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't, skip don't. the dub, man. Um, I. How did you like the conclusion of the story? Uh, I liked the conclusion. Yeah. I felt like it was rushed. I felt like in the last oh, act. Yeah. yeah, like they had to wrap wrap everything up. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's nice. But yeah. I wish I wish they'd taken more because they take they took the time de- with world building and developing the movie so much and then and then the end comes and you're like fine wrap up wrap up wrap up wrap up we need to go yeah yeah so other than the ending being feeling a little rushed I loved the movie so for me yeah. that's my gripe about it yeah yeah I felt like it was a bit rushed at the end I agree yeah yeah um I really liked. You know, well, there's like specific plot points that I really liked mm-hmm. uh, towards the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but those are heavy spoilers. Heavy spoilers. So, so later. Yeah. No, you, they, you just catch us in the spoiler episode. Yeah. Mm. Um, what else? So, art style. Characters. Characters. Story. Themes. Themes. Mm-hmm. Um, Rating. Again, as, uh, yeah. Again, I just want to reiterate, like, if you're watching the dub, this is, like, it's gonna, like, literally, I, I, I felt like this was just a bunch of metaphors, and it's up to you to put the story together. It's, like, pretty metaphors, mm-hmm. and uh, you, you decide what the story is, kind of thing. Um, that's, that's what I felt like, and that's what 
the others felt like. So I wasn't alone. Mm-hmm. I was not alone. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. So 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 my rating for this is is quite low mm-hmm. for the dub. Mm-hmm. It's like a four. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do the dub. Don't do the dub. Yeah. Do and I agree. I actually agree with that rating for the dub. Yeah. All things considered, even with the art style, even with the story and everything else, yes, the dub is that bad. Yeah. It brings it down to a four. Yeah. Because for me... I would rather have not watched this. Yeah. Because for me, with the sub, I really enjoyed the movie. Yeah. Even though I watched it spaced out over a couple of days, but that's a personal thing. <laughs> I can't really knock the movie for that. I'll yeah. give it a seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, was... it's a nice movie. Um, based off the half an hour of the sub that I watched, mm-hmm. I'd probably rank it higher if, yeah. if I'd watched the sub. Yeah. Um, and you were saying that you watched it with your wife and your and mom? My mo- and, and they didn't get it? They didn't, they didn't like it. They didn't either. like They're it either. Because like, we're watching the stuff happening and it's so random. Mm-hmm. Like they'll say one thing mm-hmm. and then they're off doing something else. And like it, it is a problem with the script. It's disjointed. It's completely disjointed from what they're actually doing in, in the thing at some parts. So we're just like, when we're watching, we're like, Why? We kept saying, like, why and how? Hmm. And, okay, okay yeah, the, the, I think the, specifically with the love story, that is, like, that does happen suddenly, yeah. I, I'm sure, in the sub part as well. Yes. It just comes out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. But, like, that, mm-hmm. there's so many things that just happen from nowhere. Like, they just come out of nowhere. On some level, I'm also wondering now, how much of it is the book? Because we should actually, okay. I don't know. I'm I'll sure try. the book is the book for sure is a lot more detailed and will have like but maybe, progression and and stuff. But maybe maybe she actually jumped because the book is written by a, a British writer actually. I Her know. name is Diana Jones. Okay. Yeah. So it was adapted from English to Japanese for them to do the movie. So okay. maybe there's stuff that that's literally lost in translation twice because <laughs> it translated from English to Japanese then back again. Hmm. Yeah. But we'll see. Okay, I'll do the. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this myself. <laughs> Who's your favorite character, though? How? How? Hmm? It's either for me. It's either How or Calcifer. Okay. Yeah, but I really do love Sophie. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Mm. Uh, Actually, so, you know what? Scratch what? those. It's ne- it's neither of those guys. Who? My favorite character. Yeah. In that entire movie. Yeah. Because Sophie, Sophie is a really lovable character. She's amazing. Like we haven't gotten, we haven't gotten good characters like her in a long time. Yeah. Howl is, Howl is, Howl is, Howl is an anime wizard, Howl. But I like him because of... I like the Japanese, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Bit one is a sleaze. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I like this. Okay, this is gonna be okay. That's I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go into it in the spoilers. But I do. I still do like Hal. But yes, Sophie is my favorite character. Okay. Yeah, young Sophie specifically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. young Sophie towards the end. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you exactly where. But Hal is still up there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so yeah. join us next time where we really, really go into that, go into uh, specifics with this movie. Yeah, and uh, we'll fill you in on exactly on all, on all those issues that we have had problems with, and, yes. and and things that we really liked actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I am Hell's Knight. I'm Hillary. Later. Later. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You're picking the game what that we're damn. doing next. Okay. Now, what do we? Should I do? A a multiple choice, or do I just pick? It is entirely up to you. So I could be a, I could be a tyrant in this and pick. Yeah, you can you can pick anything. Because hmm. I have a short list of a few games, mm-hmm. and I'm wondering how to pick between those games. Even though I know I kind of know what I want to play. But I kind of want to play all of them at the same time. Um, Them's Fighting Hoods. It's a fighting game about cows. Yeah. Is it cows or just... No, it's, it's about animals. animals. Yeah, it's like, about animals. Uh, hoofed like animals a, specifically. There's like a, a horse. Mm. Yeah. 
So we try that. Because okay. we haven't done we haven't done a fighting game. Okay, fine. Yeah. So let's do Maybe them I will fight you. Games. We That's no, we good. have to. Okay. Yeah, we have we to. We will try the multiplayer <laughs> as well. <laughs> yes. Alright, so them's fighting hurts. Them's fighting hurt. Cool. Mm. Oh, and also uh thanks to everyone who watched our last podcast about um high score girl. Mm. Uh we really love the comments we got. And um, especially on Instagram, thank you for telling me what that Zangief move was. <laughs> it's called the ha- ha- Hajika screw or something. I didn't know what it was called. Uh-huh. But yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you for that. <laughs> All right. I'm Hell's Knight. I'm Hillary. Have fun. Have fun. Do you have an opinion on what we just discussed? Did we miss something? Tell us in the comment section and we'll read it in the next episode. If you're listening on Anchor... Send us a voice message and we'll add it to this episode. Don't forget to follow our podcast on Twitter, at SpoilFans, for updates. And follow our Instagram for behind-the-scenes action, at Spoilers and Fandom. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and Anchor to get the latest episodes.